All right. Yeah, everybody sit down now. All right, good evening, everybody. I am Justice Milton A. Tinglin. I am a very proud member of the Board of Trustees of New York Theological Seminary. And tonight, I am more proud that I am here tonight to introduce my aunt. You know, I was told that I was supposed to get up and talk about <clears throat> um, all of her work and how valuable it's been and all the rest of it, but let's face it, how do you follow that? <laughs> all right, that's a waste of time and I'm not going to waste time. So just for a moment, I want to talk about my Aunt Thelma, the person, the woman, and what she's meant for me and my family. We are seated over at table one. And we have Aunt Thelma Davidson's, we have Adair's, and we have Adair's to Tinglings. And with that incredible story that you just saw, her part of her legacy, and that's the first generation, seated at that table are two doctors, four lawyers, and three judges. And the thing about Aunt Thelma is, and by the way, for you old school Southern people, y'all have heard of Scrabble, right? Yeah. Well, my Aunt Thelma makes the best Scrabble in the world. But what I wanted to say tonight, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. But sometimes when you grow up in a family of community service, and you're taught responsibility, and you're taught about giving back, and you're taught about standing up. <clears throat> but when you have people in your family like Mont Thelma, it can sometimes appear to be a burden. You know, how do you live up to that? How do you equal, how do you work on surpassing the things that she's accomplished? And I think that this may actually be her greatest gift to us. That pressure was never there. It was never expected. What she gave to us was the knowledge that we never had to be better than her, but that we just had to be the best of ourselves. And Auntie, that is your endearing legacy because you have been the best of yourself. And so tonight, I had a very, have a very, very good friend who told me that he had children and he was buying one a car and buying one an apartment. And somebody said to him, you know, you're spoiling your kids, you shouldn't do this. And he said to me, he said, he had been taught that it's better to give when the hand is warm. And so tonight, on behalf of the family, I want to thank you for giving to my aunt while the hand is warm. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Dr. Thoma Cornelia Davidson Adair. What a moment for me to be surrounded by Days gone by, and sitting with those that are preparing for leadership of the future. I promise not to speak. They often come and take the mic, <laughs> and, and I'm not even keeping up with that. I, I'm sorry, family. I'm not going to let you down. This is only an hour long. <laughs> But I shall only say that the only thing that I really own in life are the things that I have given away, the ideas, the hours of work, and pe preparation for another meeting. And you know, I had to learn how to sleep out at eight hours. I had so many of my life spent 
with four hours of sleep, but I've got too much of it now, and just being with you tonight lets me know that the job is not over. The job is not over. And I want to thank you for giving me a moment to reflect, and between nods tomorrow, my dear caregiver will keep me out of the chair. I want to think about that which we can still do. I'll be 100 next year. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, Oh, thank, thank you for your generous response, and I want to express my deep appreciation to the seminary for this moment in my life. All right. All right, so I'm going to read this, and this is the Urban Angel Award, New York Theological Seminary presented to Dr. Thomas C. Adair, Presbyterian educator and human rights advocate on the occasion of our 16th annual gala, awarded this ninth day of April, 2019, Dr. Dale T. Irvin, president, Dr. Lawrence G. Hammond, chairman of the board. We also have a proclamation from the mayor. So I have to read the whole thing. All right. We also have a proclamation from the mayor, and that's presented to Dr. Thomas C. Davison Adair. All right, and I'm gonna skip over that. <laughs> and we have one last surprise award that I did not know about. It had to be, I'm sorry, during the film, you read that my aunt actually started college when she was 15 years old. And she went to Barbara Scotia Junior College. Well, tonight, in honor of this award, there is a plaque, a proclamation from Barbara Scotia Junior College, which she first attended in 1934. And I will, not, I will not read all of it, but it's a proclamation honoring Aunt Thelma. And the last paragraph reads that, now therefore the Board of Trustees of Barbara Scotia College do hereby proclaim that a picture of Dr. Thoma Cornelia Davison Adair and a copy of this proclamation will hang on the wall of distinguished Scotia women alongside Dr. Mary McLeod Bethune. <laughs> 